Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 56 of Java for Tester series, that is if selection statements. In Java, we have something known as flow control statements. And this flow control statements at a high level can be categorized into three different types, that is selection statements, then we have iterative statements and then we have transfer statements. This flow control statements at a high level can be categorized into selection statements, iterative statements and transfer statements. So under, it, under the selection statements, we have different selection statements like if if else, then we have if else if else, and then we have switch switch statements. So there are four selection statements under the selection statements of flow control statements. In the current video session, I am going to explain about this first selection statement that is if selection statement. Okay. I'm going to explain the first selection statement under this flow control statement that is if selection statement. So let's get started guys. So what is this if selection statement? What is its purpose? Okay, let's find it out. So in order to understand the if selection statement, you have to understand this line. Code inside the if decision making statement, that is code inside the if selection statement will be executed only when the condition provided inside the if decision making statement returns true okay what does this mean so here let me show let me explain this line with the help of this uh, flow diagram guys uh, let me click on this it will open a flow diagram for me so if you understand this flow diagram then you will understand the if selection statement clearly okay so guys as you can see here as you can see here Assume that this is the execution flow, okay? Assume that this is the execution flow of your code and when your execution code flow reaches this if, if condition, okay? This if selection statement has some if condition, guys. If condition, okay, this condition is a Boolean expression, guys, uh, or it, it may be a Boolean value also. If this condition results in true, okay, the code inside this if block will be executed. If the condition results in false, then it will it will not execute this code guys okay you see there is a if statement here if selection statement which has a condition if this condition is true then something inside this if if statement will be executed okay if the code inside this if statement will be executed otherwise this code will be skipped guys you see you are going from outside okay false 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 outside if it is true only this code inside this if condition will be executed let me explain you more practically so the code will look like this guys the java code will look like this if some condition okay open the curly brackets and close the curly brackets and here code will be there okay code one let's say code two it can be any lines of code one line or two lines of code or many lines of code will be there okay so from here to here this is a code block of the if condition right when the execution starts and comes to this if condition based on this condition this code will be executed that means if this condition results in true, if this condition results in true, if, if this if condition results in true, then the execution will go inside this if block and this uh, code will be executed. What if the condition will result in false? If this particular if condition is resulting in false, okay, then this code will be skipped, guys. Okay, this code will not be executed. This code will be only executed when the condition is true. When the condition is false, this code will be skipped. That means our execution comes here like this. And if the condition is true, then this code will be executed and the execution will follow like this. Okay. But what if, but what if the, when the execution comes here, if the condition becomes, let's say if the condition results in false, in that case, this code will be skipped guys, it will not be executed. Okay. This code will be skipped, it will not be executed. So it will be skipped like this, okay? So the execution will go like this. 
it will take another route if it is true only the it will be straight route otherwise it will go in a different route if it is false the condition results in false it this code will be will not be executed code inside this if block if block is starting from this starting curly brace and ending here in the ending curly brace case okay so this is how the if statement works in java fine so let me practically demonstrate so that you can easily understand what exactly this if selection statement and how to use it in java okay let me first demonstrate execution of the statement inside the if block when the condition is true for example if this is a condition guys okay this is a condition if if i give something like true here and then say system dot out dot print ln inside if block okay then here i will say system dot out dot print ln okay uh, we can say outside if block okay otherwise uh, be after if block i will say after if block here and then the same thing i will say here before if block before if selection statement and after if selection statement then if the condition is true then it will be executed right so what will happen if i run this this is a syntax case okay this is a syntax so if selection statement has this if command and then uh, in the brackets we have the boolean value that is either true or false or you can even have a condition guys i will explain that later okay the if block is starting here and it is ending here this if block is starting here and it is ending here and in between this starting and ending of the if block we have the system dot out dot print statement so assume that this is a code guys in, in real time we may have the real code inside the if block but here just for our demonstration i am just i am just putting the print statement okay so if you are going inside this if block then this particular statement will be executed okay if you go inside this if block this particular statement will be executed so let's run this right click run as java application so uh, main method started executing guys uh, you see before if block executed then if true okay the condition is true that means when this if condition is true it will go in, the execution will go inside the if block and whatever the code that is there inside this if block will be executed so there is a print statement here inside if block you see inside if block got printed then after this is done after if block will be printed this is how it works guys okay what if the condition is false so what if the condition is false if the condition is false this if block will not be executed this will be skipped guys this selection part will be skipped once this is printed the execution comes here and uh, as it sees the if condition as false it will skip this part and directly it will go to this uh, after if block okay so let's do that right click run as the application you see before if block after if block and this code this line of code in java didn't get executed you see inside if block is not printed here that means this if block didn't get executed because the condition is false and guys here in this place we can use some boolean expressions okay we can create some boolean expressions for example uh, i will say int a is equal to 5 comma b is equal to 6 if i say a is less than b okay if i say here in this if condition area if i say a less than b pi is less than 6 is it true or false pi is a is less than b is pi is less than 6 is true so this is resulting this boolean expression is resulting in a boolean value true so if it is true then system dot out print ln inside if block will be printed you can see that run as java application you see inside if block before and after anyhow will be printed but uh, this one will be printed only when this condition a less than b is true so it is true so it got printed if what if i say a greater than b pi greater than 6 is false so if condition is false this will be skipped guys this if block will be skipped from execution so let's run this right click run as java application you'll get the only before after but not this is not getting printed because this if block getting if block got skipped from execution because of this condition became false fine so and one more thing guys one more thing here if you hope here inside this if block if you have multiple statements like this okay if you have multiple lines of code inside this if block okay then you have to put the starting and ending curly braces okay this starting and curly braces are mandatory for this if block when you have more than one lines of code inside this if block what if you have only one line of code 
is this curly brackets mandatory no guys they are optional you can direct you can either keep them you can either keep this uh, starting and ending curly braces for this if block if you have one single statement inside this if block and uh, it's it's optional guys you don't have to provide it's not mandatory okay now if you after if this if after this if statement if you have only one statement inside this if block okay there it's this uh, opening and start uh, opening and ending curly braces are not mandatory they are optional guys you see this will work so if i say a less than b here the condition will result in true and this will be printed you see right click or run as job application okay inside if block got printed what if the condition is false a greater than b it will not be printed It's the same way right click run as job application you see inside if block is skipped so if you have only one statement inside the if block this opening and this opening and ending curly braces are optional okay you don't have to provide or you can provide also it's up to you fine so that is one more thing and uh, in place of this condition guys okay you can give boolean expressions using you can create the boolean expressions using the relational and logical operators that is here greater than symbol is a relational operator guys and other side i can say or okay if i say a a greater than b or a or b less than a if i give something like this both are same so but i'm just creating trying to create something okay or i can say uh some two less than three okay i can create something like this a greater than b or two less than three here greater than symbol less than symbol fall into the relational operators category whereas this double pipe symbol which falls under the logical or, or operator is a logical operator whereas these are relational operators and this is a logical operator you can you can use them together a greater than b phi greater than 6 phi greater than 6 is false right phi is not greater than 6 so it will result in false false or two less than 3 three is true so out of this one of, one of them is false and one of them is true false or true will result in what guys false or as explained in the previous videos false or true will return in true so if the final final uh, boolean value result will be true guys if true the statement will be executed so you can run this and see true uh, this uh, statement inside the if block will be executed that is inside if block will be executed okay so this is how guys in the if selection statements you can use relational and logical operators in place of the condition to result the boolean value as a result so this is how we have to use if selection statements in java guys i have explained uh, the if selection statements in uh, detail and how to use it and all the details that are required for understanding the if selection statements are explained in this video session and in the next video session i will explain the next selection statement that is if else if else selection statement guys so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye